Hey everyone, I'm putting a 120 hertz panel into my Acer Nitro 5. This is the AMD version. It has the RX 560X uh, graphics and the Ryzen 5 2500U processor. I thought I'd do this video because I've only seen one other one on YouTube and in the comments it said he used a different model, uh, like a different screen apparently. And the brightness didn't work, so I want to see if this one, the one that I ordered, uh, will work. Uh, I'll show you guys the model uh, after. And then uh, I'll drop some links in the description uh, where you can get this. I got mine on eBay. This is the LCD version. Um, this panel is the IPS panel. I don't really care, honestly. It's like a $10 difference. So I thought I'd go with the LCD one because it was cheaper. So let's get this open and we'll see what it looks like and then we'll get the bezel off the laptop and see if it direct fit, see if our refresh rate works and then we'll see if the brightness works because apparently everyone was saying the brightness stops working uh, when you change the panel. So we'll check it out. Alright guys, here's the model of the screen. N156HHE-GA1 but like it says here, 120 hertz. Full HD, 1920, 1080, and this is the LED LCD screen, not the IPS panel. So let's just get the bezel off, and uh, we'll see if we can get this panel in. So, pretty sure all you have to do is just go around, just pull up, it'll make it click. Just pull up all the way around, from the inside out, and I'll get back to you guys, because I don't have a tripod. So guys, this was actually really easy to get off. There's no screws hidden under there or anything, so... Literally just comes off like that. I use this for video editing and a little bit of light gaming, but 120 hertz is a lot better than 60 just for like normal desktop use anyway. Like that's what I prefer. So I thought I would just upgrade it for pretty cheap. So that's what we're gonna do. So I just disconnected the back top from the hinges just so it was easier to see. So all you have to do is just peel up this tape right here and then you'll be able to connect the connector this will void your warranty by the way so if you guys have a warranty i got this laptop used so i don't have a warranty um so when you pull that tape up it will void your warranty warranty void if removed i guess there's a warranty on these screens but you're gonna lose your laptop warranty if you change the screen so guys once you get the tape peeled up all you do is just pull it backwards like that it'll pop right out and then we can move our screen and throw the new one on so guys, I recommend putting your laptop down like this just so you can screw it in and so nothing's hanging off. It's just the best way. You're just going to put the four back in. I plugged in the new screen and we're going to peel it off. Alright guys, we got all the screws back in. Now we just have to pop the bezel back on and turn it on. Let's see what happens. Guys, the new screen's in. Press the power button. Hopefully it says Acer. There we go. Now I did get this uh, utility display settings. All right, we're gonna go to advanced display settings. See it says 60 Hertz. You're gonna wanna click display adapter properties for display one. We might have to use that utility. Okay, here we go, monitor. See the monitor tab right there? There's our 60 Hertz. Sorry, I opened two of them by accident. See it, all right only says 60 hertz what we're gonna have to do run custom resolution utility i will drop a link in the description and i believe let's see i've never used this before so we're, i think we're gonna have to select this and click edit and let's see where's our hertz there's our hertz okay refresh rate 60.020 let's just do 120 click ok let's see we're gonna click restart.exe there we go all right graphics driver restarted that feels like 120 hertz guys i think it is Let's just check here. Back to display settings, advanced display settings. There we go. 120 Hertz refresh rate guys. Let's click display adapter properties. 
Let's see what it says now in the list. It's already opened up behind there. Let's see, there we go. 120 hertz. There we go, guys. We got our 120 hertz monitor. I don't know. This is only a 60 FPS video, so you can't see how smooth it is. Last thing to check is the brightness. 75%. Sweet, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Brightness does work. All right, I'll drop links in the description to cru.exe, which is the custom resolution utility. I do use Firefox on this for some reason. Um, when I use Chrome, when I watch videos, they like flash green. I don't know why, I try to fix it. Um, I'll drop a link to the screen as well in the description, the model number. I'll say it again, or I'll just show it right here. N156HHE-GA1. And this is the AMD edition, but I do believe that it will work on the 1050 Ti. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.